Hi everyone, my name is Abel Greek Antoma. I'm from Greatest Bike Design Concept. This is actually my WhatsApp contact. You can reach me on this number or you can call me, okay? Um, these are a list of softwares which I have covered on our YouTube channel. All these softwares, uh, the tutorials are very much available on my channel. And then we now teach all of these uh, softwares on our Telegram platform. We will we'll give you the software, we'll guide you on how to install it, and also how to crack it on your system yourself. Okay. Um, today I'm going to be showing you um, how to actually um, design your interchange. Okay, on your civil 3D. Okay. Um, now let's jump right into it. Okay, um, this civil 3D uh, software. I've covered a wide range of design using civil 3D road designs, roundabout, uh, how to install your uh, civil 3D and crack it on your system yourself. And then um, I've covered a video on uh, canal design. Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to actually come about. Uh, uh, your intersection okay now I'm going to the first thing I want to do is to click on polyline or I use my PL okay Good. now the next thing I'm going to do is to actually create an alignment Okay, I will come to alignment, create alignment from object. I will select the object and I enter. Okay, you can see the arrow indicating that it's coming downward. Okay, um, it's coming in this direction. I can reverse it if I don't want that direction, but I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm good. Um, I can rename this to alignment one. Okay, this is the radius. I'm gonna leave it just the way it is. Okay, I'm going to create another alignment. Create alignment from object. I select the object. I press enter or you right click. I'm going to accept the direction. Um, alignment one okay I can just leave the both of them as the same alignment or I can rename this to alignment two okay good now the next thing I'm going to do is to come back to my intersection and I click on create intersection and I'm going to select the midpoint okay and then uh, I'll select this This is my intersection. I'm going to rename it. Um, let's say by the name of the site. Let's say Kabbalah. Okay. For example. Okay. Then um, you can see I can switch this to all. You can see now it is actually showing you from the diagram here below this is all crowns maintained okay i can switch it to that of the primary okay, i'm going to use all crown okay um you can click here for okay some more settings here uh, Label visibility is true and all. Now the text type you can actually uh, switch the text type to whatever text you want. Okay, Let's come to layout, the intersection text, the text height you can increase, you can reduce uh, your text height. You can change uh, the uh, layer 
okay just like uh, the layers you're familiar with in your AutoCAD environment uh, that is how it is here okay now I'm going to leave all the settings here just the way it is now I will click next okay section has been created okay now once you click on any of these you see the property okay you can actually see the length here this is the length you can actually increase the length of this be increased it can be reduced okay um, now I want to show you something I'm going to take off this um, uh, intersection and I'm going to do some little settings here okay come to create intersection create intersection click the point Now from here, these offset parameters, I can go here and do some more settings on this and make it look just the way I want it. I can actually uh, edit all of uh, the shapes, okay, the curves and all that. From here, I can just come here. Okay, you can see this is the offset value, uh, 3 meters. Um, you can observe the diagram here below, okay. If I click here, that is, I'm creating the new offset from start to the end of uh, the center line. Okay, now we have uh, the primary road and then we have uh, the secondary road. Okay, now, um, whichever I, I click on, you will see an indication here showing you this is the point at which I am right now. Okay, so it's actually. Uh, the diagram here is there to guide you so in order for you not to actually get lost at any point now i can rename this as well okay the offset value three meters okay um, okay so the same thing you do for the primary route you can as well do that for for this okay all this can actually be edited all the properties here you can see um, this uh, this is actually uh, three meters you can increase that for example if this is a uh, uh, 3.6 okay once you do that you notice that um, there is actually a change from uh, the diagram here okay good so you can do all of that uh, this is actually the primary road you can see here now this is secondary road okay this is the one coming out entering this road okay this is the major road here now good now click on ok curve return parameters this also can be edited you can see here showing you from the diagram that this is your northeast okay this is actually the north east okay so uh, this can be changed you can see the quadrants here okay the radius here is 10 meters uh, you can increase your radius okay so if I click on next you see this is the southeast okay uh, the same thing we can adjust for them all okay
so you can even widen uh, your turn lane for incoming uh, road okay so all of this can be widened okay you can see all the properties here can actually be edited okay everything here can be edited you can do that for all that is here okay so you can play with it just the way you want it uh, to achieve uh, whatever you're looking for now um, you can see this is a circular fillet okay this circular fillet can be actually uh, changed to other um, it can be changed to a chamfer or a tree centered axe okay all this can actually be edited here too as well okay once i switch this you see you notice there is a change in the diagram okay you can see there is a change in the diagram so i'm going to leave it just the way it is initially okay if you love what you are seeing make sure that you give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel is actually free just click on the red button down below the video just look for a red button subscribe click on that subscribe button and you have subscribed already it's actually 100% free there is no charges applied okay uh, click on the bell icon so as to actually get a notification whenever I post videos I post videos like this on a weekly sometimes on a daily to encourage as many that want to have deeper insight of design okay now make sure that you actually uh, stay safe and make sure that you actually uh, stay blessed okay now good you can see the little adjustment i did here has actually taken effect here okay make sure you come register with us and then we'll guide you through the process of design okay as a beginner we'll take you through the process of design until you attain mastery okay make sure that you actually stay safe and make sure that you stay